Hello guys. This video is provided to you by Engineer Helm at YouTube channel. In 2019. This is Lesson 2 Form Excel 2019. To combine two cell values into one cell, you need to use the end sign. This sign allows you to have multiple operations on the same cell without interfering each other. It accepts text, numbers, and mathematical operations. Let's start the first example. I want to combine this cell which contained first name with this cell which contained the last name. To be shown in this cell with having a space in between. Let's start. Select the cell that you want the result to be shown in it. Select the first name, then, type and or combine sign, then to enter a text or a space. It should be written between double quotes. Then the combine sign. Then the cell that contained the second name. Now press enter. To apply the same operation for below cells, click on the cell, hold on this dot, drag it to the below cells. Now to do the second task it is the same steps just instead of the space, the text should be written. And then combine it with the equal sign, finally the result. Now let's start about the if function. If statement in Excel can be written as any other functions. First write the equal sign, then if, open the brackets. Here we can see that it takes three parameters. Logic test, value if true, value if false. It means if the logic test is true, or in another words if the criteria is true, then it gives a value as a result. Otherwise if the criteria doesn't match, it will give another value. Let's start with our examples to be more clear. If the value is less than 5 it means it's field, if it's between 5 to 10 it means passed. Let's write the formula. Equal, if, open the bracket, the logic, if this cell is greater or equal to 5. Comma, my result will be passed. Comma, otherwise it will be failed. Close the bracket, and press enter. What we did was for one cell, it means if there is only one criteria to our condition. But what if we have more than one criteria? Here we can use an function, which allows us to write as many logic as it's needed, then giving one result, true or false. For example, let's write an in function for these two cell values. Equal, and, open bracket. Select first cell, then greater or equal to 50. 
comma, second cell, greater or equal to 50. If we have more conditions we can continue on the same procedure. But for our example let's close the brackets and press enter. It's true because both criteria are matching, but if we change one number or both to below 50, then it will be false. Because the end function can return true or false, so it can be used inside the if function of the logic. Let's try and with if function. We see that it says failed because it's less one of them is less than 50. If we change it to 50 or more it will be passed. If you got benefit from the channel, do not forget to subscribe it, to get all new tutorials.